Hi everybody, it's Brenda here with Be Balanced Art. I'm going to be trying to do something I've never done before. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm going to try to do a spiral flower on this huge canvas. Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. I'm going to start with Brilliant Blue. I've already coated the canvas with Apple Barrel White. This is going to be a hard circle to do, so I'm going to start with a dot here, about two inches over, dot here, Yeah, bad circle, but that's a good thing because I can fix it right now. idea now on this first one is to make it as good a circle as I can get. Okay, now let's make our spiral. color I'm using now is Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Still trying to make my circle round. Okay, after Brilliant Blue, I'm going to go with Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Pearl White. It's so big. Now I'm going to go on to Liquitex Phthalo Blue. Almost out of this, so I'm going to be using most of it. Now I have Liquitex Basics Lime Green. Ooh, that really is coming out.
Now I'm going to try Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. Now I'm going to try Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And start, let's see, I've got a lot of blank space in here. This is different than I normally do it, but I've never done one quite so big. This is Fable Green by Artist Loft. in my camp here. Okay. I'm going to try to even this out a tiny bit more. That's about as good as I'm going to get that. I'm just going to add yellow, but my canvas is pretty much coated right now, so put my gloves on and try the really hard part. Move these out of my way. what this is going to come out like but I'm excited to find out hopefully it'll come out okay these are different colors than I've ever used in a flower before this is the biggest spiral flower I've ever done let's give it a shot and see what happens Once again, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. I am a nervous wreck and it's hot in here so I'm sweating. I've already smudged it because of uh, the trying to get out that wrinkle that I had.
Hopefully, if it, hopefully it'll work. If all else fails, I'll try a balloon smash, but that's not what I want for this. I would like this to come out. Beautiful spiral flower. Sorry I'm talking so quiet. I tend to... You guys are here listening, but when I'm doing this, I'm pretty much kind of talking to myself because you can't respond. So sometimes I tend to forget that you're here and just keep on talking to myself. All right. You guys wish me luck. Come on. The lift did not come out very well, um, unfortunately, because it's a rectangle and not a square, but as you wait, it will fill in some of the spots. This over here I'm not very happy with. That's where I kept trying to make it a circle, but it didn't quite come out a circle. Got my gloves off. I am just sweating like crazy. I'm sorry. I don't know whether it's nerves from this pour or the temperature out because it's like 90 degrees out. So I'm in one of the hotter rooms in the house. This is my dining room slash studio close to the kitchen. I don't hate it. It's It could have been better, but I don't hate it. Let me bring you around for a close-up. Considering it was my first attempt at anything like that, I think I need to know that uh, I have to cut my plastic in a complete square. The rectangle did not work. I'm trying to get my yesterday's painting unstuck from the paper. It's really stuck down. Alright, let me get my camera. Here was yesterday's dried painting. Came out. Pretty nice. I'm happy with it. Of course, I love blue and purple, so I love the veining. I love the cells. I love that spiral pattern in the middle. I was happy with this one. Now to today's flower. It's huge. For me, it's huge. 16 by 20. Got cells. Let me back it up a little bit. Get more of it in there. In the center, I've got some lacing. And that's it. That's my huge flower. We'll have to see how it dries. I'll bring it I'll bring it back out tomorrow so you can see it. Hopefully some of the low spots where the plastic pulled off too much paint will fill in. They should as it dries. So I want to thank you for watching today. Um, I appreciate 
all your comments, so please leave a comment for me. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy watching me, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. This is Brenda with Be Balanced Art saying bye-bye.